Hello, church family. I'm Sherry Wolf, and for today's Moment of Hope, I would like to share a story that I saw years ago. It's called, Who Will Take the Sun by Steve Patterson. A wealthy man and his son loved to collect rare works of art. They had everything in their collection from Picasso to Raphael. They would often sit together and admire the great works of art. When the Vietnam conflict broke out, the son went to war. He was very courageous and died in battle while rescuing another soldier. The father was notified and grieved deeply for his only son. About a month later, just before Christmas, there was a knock at the door. A young man stood at the door with a large package in his hand. He said, sir, you don't know me, but I am the soldier for whom your son gave his life. He saved many lives that day and he was carrying me to safety when a bullet struck him in the heart and he died instantly. He often talked about you and your love of art. The young man held out his package. I know this isn't much. I'm not really an artist, but I think your son would have wanted you to have this. The father opened the package. It was a portrait of his son painted by the young man. He stared in awe at the way the soldier had captured the personality of his son in the painting. The father was so drawn to the eyes that his own eyes welled up with tears. He thanked the young man and offered to pay him for the picture. Oh no, sir, I could never repay what your son did for me. It's a gift. The father hung the portrait over his mantle. Every time visitors came to visit his home, he took them to see the portrait of his son before he showed them any other great works of art that he had collected. The man died a few months later. There was to be a great auction of his paintings. Many influential people gathered excited over seeing the great paintings and having the opportunity to purchase one for their collection. <clears throat> On the platform sat the painting of the sun. The auctioneer pounded the gavel. We'll start the bidding with this picture of the sun. Who will bid for this picture? There was silence. Then a voice in the back of the room shouted, we want to see the famous painting, skip this one. But the auctioneer persisted. Will someone bid for this painting? Who will start the bidding? $100, $200. Another voice shouted angrily, we didn't come to see this painting. We came to see the Van Goghs, the Rembrandts. Get on with the real bids. But still the auctioneer continued, the sun, the sun, Who'll take the sun? Finally, a voice came from the very back of the room. It was a longtime gardener of the man and his son. I'll give $10 for the painting. Being a poor man, it was all he could afford. We have $10. Who will bid $20? Give it to him for $10. Let's see the masters. $10 is the bid. Won't someone bid 20? The crowd became angry. They didn't want the picture of the sun. They wanted the more worthy investments for their collection. The auctioneer pounded the gavel, going once, twice, sold for $10. A man sitting on the second row shouted, now let's get on with the collection. The auctioneer laid down his gavel. I'm sorry, the auction is over. What about the paintings? I'm sorry, when I was called to conduct this auction, I was told of a stipulation in the will. I was not allowed to reveal this stipulation until this time. Only the painting of the sun would be auctioned. Whoever bought that painting would inherit the entire estate, including the paintings. That man who gets the sun gets everything. God gave his son 2,000 years ago to die on a cruel cross. Much like the auctioneer, his message today is, the sun, the sun, who'll take the sun? Because you see, whoever takes the Son gets everything. John 3.16 tells us, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whoever shall believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting life.